Hello, and welcome to the Zim JavaScript Canvas Framework. We're going to show you some examples of Zim at zimjs.com, and I'm Dr. Abstract. Let's go to the site now, zimjs.com. We'll press on Examples, and we'll scroll on down until we see one called Zim Remote. And Zim Remote is multi-user, so we've got a second one open here. Zim Remote works with the Zim Terminal. So the remote is the remote control, and we put in a, a password. <laughs> okay, fine. 911. 911. And we hit go, and we hit go here. Now, what's happening is this remote control, which could be on a mobile device, whereas this is on somebody's screen over here, we can control what's on the screen. So there we are. We have all the Zim circles. No, we don't. Now we have all of them. And if we press here, Oh, cool, we caused that to bounce over there. We can even move this thing around just by dragging anywhere in here. And we've got, as well, a tilt. So if you were on mobile and you press tilt, you can then tilt the uh, remote, and on the screen, it will move around as if it's being tilted. Cool, that just shows you how you could uh, do this kind of remote control using Zim Socket and Zim. Woohoo! So come on out to the Zim site at zimjazz.com, see how it's done, try it out. Multi-user is probably one of the more complex things that you can do in code, but it's also very rewarding and magical when you see it happen. I am Dr. Abstract. Have a great night or day. Ciao.